had to go re uh, start your. Uh, whew, he made it back. Your camera. He made Can it I back. have a cigarette? <laughs> <laughs> so this is fun. This is uh, an actual video from I want to say 1962. Great. Come on, you fucker. It's called. Here we are. So this is called. Here's Jimmy going into school. He's just past his principal, but we find out it's actually the police station. Yeah. Here comes Detective Bivouac. No, this is great. So we're going to watch this. This is an actual video put out by the City of Irvine Police Department and uh, the Irvine Unified Police Department or, or, or school district. And this is fucking for real. Let's watch. <clears throat> so far, so good. Totally normal. A great parking spot, by the way. I like the... Uh... Is that a Traffic meter made? Cop, little, yeah, meter yeah. made. And the bus is, is that awesome. a paddy wagon? Nice. I'm Lieutenant Williams, a police officer attached to the juvenile division. But I I'm sound on like my Rod way Serling. to Monroe Junior High School to talk to a group of young people. Hello, I'm Rod Serling. That looks Imagine innocent if you enough, will hitchhike. Lots so, of young people hitchhike. Seems like a good way to get from hitchhiking? one place to another. It's the but thing to do. Sometimes there are dangers involved <laughs> that never meet the eye. So at this point in the video, I didn't know what it was Let's about. I was like, I think I know where this is going, Jimmy Jimmy and I'm frightened. All afternoon. It's very he didn't frightened. feel like walking home, so he decided to thumb a ride. Oh, he about got hit. It's a nice street, though. Yeah. Is that Jesse's house from Breaking Bad? Yes, it is. It looks like it. It is. I remember he that neighborhood. I've been there before. before. Broke into he that car one day. Back in 19. He'd done it a hundred times before. How old is this kid? Like a real well, nice how old guy. was he when he started well, Jimmy, shoplifting? He baseball in the park often. Uh, Jimmy told him they practiced three times a week. This is going to go horribly wrong. I can tell for poor Jimmy. Well, poor Jimmy's not wearing a seatbelt. It wasn't legal back in those days. Actually, he might have had a lap belt. Because, yeah, in the 60s, you definitely didn't have the shoulder He's going to have something else across his lap in a bit. Jimmy got out, the stranger gave him a <laughs> I friendly just, pat. Oof. Okay. What I love is some actor accepted this role. That's, you, you know who that is? No. Well, that's right. There's Jack Nicholson. It looks like it. Did, didn't you rewind it? God damn it. So I didn't grow up the kid right off the bat. He didn't, though. Now, it gets, so I just also love that he's got the little rest, rapist mustache, and it did look, so... <clears throat> that's sure apparently enough. how you. Oh, the following day when why not a rapist mustache? Ball. That's Freddie Mercury's mustache. He's in the passenger seat. Yeah, hey, slide Jimmy. over, Jimmy. You want to drive my car? Okay, now this is great. Look where he's parked. Right in oh, front of the park, the best mind. place was, to get boys. That was a. That was. It's a different <laughs> part later on. Right. Who? Right on. French dip pastrami. <laughs> Use that however you want. He's got. Roast beef. Hey man, they're hanging out in Inglewood. Well, it made him feel big to Isn't Inglewood a pretty much predominantly black neighborhood now? So this here, it gets exciting. Okay, swans, yes. What should we do? You ever been to a Turkish bath, <laughs> Jimmy? <laughs> no, but I've been to a Turkish prison. By now Look what I've got. First names. Ralph said it was more friendly. But they're using first names. What were you calling Jimmy if not by his first name? Jim? <laughs> James. <laughs> James? Jimmy hadn't what? enjoyed huh? himself so much in a long time. Yeah, that guy hadn't enjoyed a young man either. Oh, oh, oh. but look what I've got lunch, here. Ralph showed him some pornographic pictures. Oh, he no. He shouldn't be interested, but, well, he was curious. What Jimmy didn't know was that Ralph was sick. A sickness Sick. that was not visible like smallpox, Pedophilia? but no less dangerous no? and contagious. A sickness of the mind. Like I said earlier, you see, I'm very Ralph frightened. was a homosexual. Oh my God! <laughs> really? And he said it's contagious. <laughs> it's contagious. I caught me a case of the gay. <laughs> But he oh. gave him a gun. You never give the victim oh, come on. a gun. Yeah, but you know what? Look, he took him. He Choke took him up on my jiggle. putter, Jimmy. You know, oh, you know, right Jimmy, in the you know hole. I, you know, Jimmy, what I do to uh, to have a good golf game? I kiss my balls. Hey, I bet you that really makes your putter stand up. This is this Dexter's apartment? Possibly. <laughs> Doesn't that look like Dexter's apartment? Possibly. I don't didn't know they oh, ever filmed yeah. that in Inglewood. 
Oh no! Finally, they... Jimmy told no. his parents. His... So he told his parents. They reported it to the juvenile authorities. Ah. Ralph was arrested. Ralph was arrested. Jimmy was released on probation in the custody of his parents. He's on probation. Why the fuck is Jimmy on probation? <laughs> What is it? What is the message here? You, so, so, so if so, you do something, if if you're if you're lured into possibly looking at pornographic pictures and going fishing with a man that you were hitchhiking, maybe it's because he was hitchhiking. So it's great. It's it's. I guess what we're saying, kids, is if a man rapes you, don't report it. Now, did Jimmy actually ever get raped? Oh, it was implied when he went up the stairs. Oh, they went back to his apartment. Oh, okay. Yeah. The stranger joined uh, him. He was friendly and I like was wearing a tuxedo alone. to play basketballs. <laughs> well, you know, uh, being in the uh, the After film industry shots, of some like sort, uh, you just never know what time. kind of dress you're going to need yeah, for the project. And sometimes the nobody actually like ever gives you the the uh, the uh, look, you know the the lookout of or the layout of what you're going to be wearing in that shoot. Makes sense. You know what he reminds me of? Lurch. Yeah. You <laughs> Oh God, he does. Uh, I'm sorry, that would have been. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, enough shots of your nephew sinking basket. Oh, it's it's worth this. From the back, though, he looks like Jerry Lewis. Hmm. Now look where he parked. You asshole, that's the sidewalk. Right off the bat, folks, if somebody parks on the sidewalk in the park, they're a pedophile. They must be. And even if that was the driveway, no one can get past you. You just blocked the whole driveway, you ass. Look at that. He was nice enough to hold the door open for the kid, too. And where's all the extras? It, was Inglewood just like a barren wasteland? Denny and Jerry got the oh, there's one of the extras, his buddy. Oh, they only <sighs> the two I didn't, I talked over it just a minute ago. They said that the boy traded the that, uh, that ride home for his life. <laughs> really? Yes, and now here's the same guy going, hey, I'm going to rape and murder some more children. Life. The boys nodded they had. Could they recognize him if they saw them again? Well, then he guessed he could. And hop in, the man said. Those are stolen uh, That's bikes. a great lure. Did you see the guys go by? Would you recognize them? Get in. Kid. He's been told many times, <laughs> if a friend got in a car with a stranger to write down the license number, it didn't seem to apply, but, well, fortunately, he marked it down. Good for you, Bobby. Good, and he carries a pen. Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the arm on that kid. I've never seen anybody throw a newspaper like that in my when life. I'm Zab Brannigan, and I kind of like children at times, too. So he gives her a newspaper, he hadn't returned, so he and he goes, Oh, I should the show you the, license number. the phone number by giving you a second newspaper. Here, now you can have two. That'll be Just extra. Just for taking the phone number one, here's a bonus one. <laughs> this one's different. It's got different coupons in it. <laughs> Oh, they found him With on this dead end street of where two officers were patrolling and pointing the wrong way in what appears to be an orange grove. No, 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 no. That's Upper Inglewood. <laughs> that's Inglewood adjacent. That's 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 Inglewood Prime right there. <laughs> oh, okay. no questions. You're fucking going down. What I? What are you doing with that boy? The you know. You see where they are now. Bobby and his friends had Public restrooms. The who'd been in the restroom when they changed, and as it was lady suggested, they take the shortcut under the pier, but the others preferred to take the more traveled way home. Hmm. I think I'm going to rape that teenager. I think I'm going to go under the pier where that kid's going. I wonder if he's got any marijuana. I'm going to get his mouth pregnant. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Is that what? Oh. It's a shame he didn't go in, because that is like the perfect spot to take a victim. The the uh, you you the couldn't get out. Seem like a good idea at all. Hmm. Guy was walking like he was Frankenstein. That's what he could do. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> Just throw him in the water. Boy, asshole! Stay your friends anyway. So close. Bobby lucked the fuck out. <laughs> good for you, Bobby. <laughs> How come everybody in this show is named Bobby and Jimmy and Billy? And Except the Tom Lester was Ralph. Ralphie! You can still put it that way. But then you go Ralphie. 
You go to Wonderful Ralphie and then you go to uh, a Christmas spouse. story. He may appear normal, what? <laughs> and it may be too late when you, you never know when the homosexual is about. So keep it may be too late when you discover he is mentally ill. Strangers. Unless Jesus you have the Christ. Of your parents. You know who this was made by? The Nazis. <laughs> I'm sorry, the American government. Was I wrong there? Well, it local was, government. Yeah, local government. And I swear, whoever wrote this... Sid Davis wrote it right there, a Sid Davis production. I think if Sid Davis wrote it, I think he likes boys. Because the whole part where... <laughs> And he was released to the custody of his parents on probation. <laughs> what? Well, too bad about the uh, herpes you now have on your anus for the rest of your life, but... What are you talking about herpes? That was the 50s. It's the 60s, so... Was that the 60s? Yeah, that was like It was 62. still in black and white. I know. When did, when did color come into the 60s? It was, it was low budget, man. It's what you had to do. So the... I mean, people today are still making stuff in standard def. I had to... Tweak the hell out of that video to make it even watchable because what, there's two the... different kinds of deaf. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's most deaf and deaf <laughs> leopard. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that was a great movie. So that's one of those ones I plan on recutting and adding a new voice track to. That's fine. Deaf because, jam. Mm hmm. I actually put that on my deaf sandwiches. Ooh. That's... On my on my blind sandwiches. You don't want to eat deaf peanut butter though. Mm, Nasty. No. Nasty. No. Why I why I'm stuck in that damn voice? Uh, Zap Brannigan thing. I have no idea. <laughs> it just infect infects your brain. It's contagious. Go like, on, Kip. Go like, get me a Dev Jam sandwich. It's contagious, uh, like uh, homosexuality. Uh, well, yes, uh, homosexual. No, we. I've, sorry, <laughs> Kip. I've scored with a female. Inform the men. <laughs> yes, Captain. Write it up in the sky, Kip. Right. Oh, yes, Captain. Ooh, uh, Leela, Leela, come here, please. <laughs> All right. So I did an audition, actually, uh, not too long ago for uh, Vincent, Vincent Price. Oh. That's kind of hard. He worked out pretty good in the morning, but, of course, I got a notice saying, no, we went with somebody else that was better. <laughs> that's that's how they usually come. No, usually the announcements come back if they come back at all. Right. If there is a return, right. is, is we went with somebody, but we appreciate you taking the time out of your day. And I'm thinking, well, that's pretty nice. That's so I would great. have liked to got paid for that job. That's so great, you guys. I've uh, I've had people before. I had these when I owned rentals. I had these guys who would work for me and one of guy I just really didn't want him working but I, I needed the, the help at the time and I said okay I need you to do this this and this here's the address go out and get me a bid he comes back and says yeah it's going to be this much and I'm like fuck off it's there's Jesus Christ Grimsley there's no way I just fuck off he's like okay well I need $30 I'm like, what do you need? for the time it took me to, to quote the job Ooh. oh no no oh no no Okay, so now you want to never work for me ever again because fuck off. <laughs> I don't pay you to and and thirty dollars to quote a job that's a half mile from your house, dude. I would have done it for twenty two. <laughs> what a fucking tool! I would have done that for if you mowed my lawn. <laughs> you know, I don't know if you know this, but we actually had Christopher Walken in studio a while back. Was he here? Yeah, I'll maybe I'll throw a link up or something. It was, That'd be cool. It was uh, fantastic. Awesome. Is, is I think the 